This is Cerebral Cinema. Movies of the Mind. Baghdad. Martinique. Singapore. At all the places of the world where danger and intrigue walk hand in hand, there you will find Steve Mitchell on another dangerous assignment. Dangerous Assignment, starring Lloyd Burrell as Steve Mitchell. Yeah, danger is my assignment. I get sent to a lot of places I can't even pronounce. They all spell the same thing, though. Trouble. But when I walk into the commissioner's office, I don't realize this assignment's going to wind up with my solving a murder by getting hit on the head with a rock. Morning, Commissioner. You sent for me. Uh, Steve... I want you to pin down a man who's been playing hide-and-seek with us for the last two weeks. His name is Tasson, Vincent Tasson. What makes us want to play games with him? I'm sure you remember the Algiers bombing a month ago. A uh, defense conference over there. Mm -hmm. Our delegate was William Sedgwick. His car was booby-trapped. He gets in to drive to the conference, steps on the starter, and gets blown up. Right. Now, his death brought that conference to a standstill, slowed down the entire timetable of Mediterranean defense preparations. We're still trying to catch up. So what's all this got to do with a gent named Vincent Tasson who's playing hide-and-seek? He contacted us from Tangier two weeks ago, Steve, and claimed he could name the man responsible for Sedgwick's death. What? Tasson wants to make a deal with us. Well, what kind of deal? I don't know. Probably money. He said he'd discuss his terms with one of our representatives. Well, we sent a man to Tangier, but he couldn't find Tassin. Two days later, Tassin contacted us from Madrid and set up another meeting. Same thing happened. You skipped town again? Right. Next, he popped up in Barcelona. Then Marseille. Looks like Sedgwick's killer is hot in his trail. That's my guess, too. And that's why we've got to act fast. Bob Martin's in Marseille right now, running down any and all leads. So get over there, Steve, work with Martin, and find Tasson before Sedgwick's killer does. Well, that's it. You've got your assignment. Good luck. assignment. Get over to Marseille on the trail of a gent named Tasson, who has a tip on a political murder we've been trying to crack for a month. Find Tasson before the killer does. It's early morning when I arrive in Marseille. Martin's at the airport to meet me, and I suddenly get the idea that something's happened. It has. Yeah, that's right, Steve. I talked with Tasson on the phone no more than half an hour ago. He's up in the French Alps. French Alps? Brother, he's really on the run. Yeah, staying at an inn just outside a little village called Villon. I'd better get on my horse. <laughs> well, not exactly a horse, Steve. I've arranged a transportation by a private plane. Huh? Come on. Oh, there she is over there. That thing? Yep. War surplus job. Yeah, but which war? <laughs> Only place of a plane of its size available, Steve. Well, what size got to do with... Uh, wait a minute, I get it. No landing field? No landing field. Cow pasture, maybe? A cow pasture. And not a very big one? Not very big. But cheer up, Steve. The cows are small. On this note of joy, I climb into the front cockpit. A few minutes later, the pilot guns a crate down the runway, and we rattle off into the wild blue yonder. It's a bumpy trip, but the scenery, as they say in the travelogues, is one of majestic splendor. I make a note to renew my subscription to all my travel magazines. 
It's late afternoon when we sat down on a postage stamp pasture near the village in the French Alps. I head straight to the inn. It's owned by a man named Caesar, a big happy gent with a voice to match. I find him behind the bar polishing glasses. Ah, bonjour, monsieur. It's all of the sea there. Of here, I expected yodeling. Yeah, I am not one to disappoint. Uh, uh, later, uh, right now, I'm looking for one of your guests, Vincent Tassin. Oh, up there, moving along the side of the mountain, perhaps a third of the way up. From here, they look like ants. A party of mountain climbers, monsieur. Among them is your monsieur Tassin. They left three hours ago. Hmm. He must be on the run again. One does not run up that mountain. Yeah. Uh, isn't it sort of late in the afternoon to start up? They plan to reach the ski lodge somewhere before nightfall and uh, continue the climb in the morning. Where is this lodge? Round the side of the mountain overlooking Lake Lusette. Was that? Yeah, that's near the Swiss border. We. Oui. Yeah, probably where Tassin's heading, all right. I. Hey, wait a minute. These other members of the hiking party, who are they? Well, former guests at the inn, uh, Monsieur Jelinin, uh, Monsieur Kishevsky, and uh, Monsieur Armendariz. Uh, did Tassin know any of them? He did not seem to. He came downstairs to shake out, and the others apparently persuaded him to accompany them on the clan. Great. If I will get you ten, one of them was hired to persuade him. Monsieur? Huh? I'll skip it. If you wish to go to the lodge, I can make arrangements. The festival is in progress there. Music, dancing. When can I leave? Oh, not until morning. There is no guide available. I've got to get up there tonight before Tassin does. Impossible, monsieur. And, uh, but no. Unless what? La pipe. La what? Pipe. A pipe, monsieur. It is the kind one smokes. It is the name of a shortcut up to the lodge. Most dangerous. A shortcut? To attempt it alone would be almost... That's for me, Caesar. That's a spirit, old chap. Huh? Ah, oh, Monsieur Agrave. Uh, you hear this one? Yes, yes, I heard. Monsieur Agrave, this is... Uh, Mitchell. How do you do? So, a lot of people holds no terror for you, eh? Good. But Caesar's right, you know. Suicide to try to learn. I should know I have the lumps to prove it. You familiar with this area, Hargrave? Well, uh, yes, I manage to gather a few pounds each year, spend a week or two in the Alps. Ah, oh, then it's back to London, the dreary life of a clerk. Hemsley, Hawkins, Twinkler, and Habersham solicitors. Hmm. Uh... Don't do money, Caesar. Yeah. Join me, old man? Uh, it's on me. Huh. Tell the truth, I was rather hoping you'd say that. Two do money, Caesar. And one for yourself. You mind, old chap? Uh, Hargraves, how'd you like to scrape together a few more pounds? Hmm, I should like that very much. The festival, you know. Frankly, good show. Well, what's stopping us? Eh? I've got to reach that lodge tonight. Do you show me the way, or do I try it alone? Exactly how many pounds did you have in mind? What's a guide usually get? I'm not a guide, old boy. Double the amount. Double, eh? Hmm. Hmm. Your health, mes amis. Oh, something. Well, Hargraves? Double the amount, eh? Right, old boy. Let's get cracking. Getting tired, Mitchell? Are you kidding? Look, we've been pushing up this mountain for over two hours. I thought you said this was a shortcut. It is. I'd hate to take the long route. Not bad, really. Frightfully dull, though. Nothing dull about this one. It's a long way down. 2,000 feet at least. Don't remind me of it. You want to stop for a while? No, let's keep going. Good. It'll be dark before long. Hey, Hargraves. Yes? I've been wondering. Why do they call this shortcut log, whatever it is they call it? Oh, La Peep, the pipe. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Somebody else named it, then forgot to explain why. French, you know. Probably careless about those things. I seem to remember a place in England called something or other on the Thames. Oh? Uh -huh. Wasn't anywhere near the Thames. Touche, old boy. However, there are some towns... Uh, uh, look out! Uh -huh. 
Hargrave slips and the sudden tug on the rope that links us jerks me off my feet. I pitch forward, reach for something to grab hold of, nothing. And the next thing I know, I'm over the ledge, dangling at the end of the rope 2,000 feet above the floor of the valley. As I swing into the side of the cliff, I latch on. Mitchell! Mitchell! Relax, Hargraves, I'm all right. Where are you? Under the ledge. Just keep a good hold on that rope in case I slip. Right, Al. Can you make it back up here? Yeah, I... I think so. What? Careful! Okay, okay. Oh, good, good boy. Here, here. Give me a hand. I'll manage. Just hold on to that rope, Hargrave. Right. There. There we are. Oh. Phew, I, I say, old man, that was a bit of a shocker, eh? Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh. Now, uh, what were you saying? It's after seven that night when we finally arrive at the ski lodge and find the festival in full swing. I inquire about Tassin and party, learn they haven't arrived yet. That doesn't sound good. I look around for Hargraves. He's gone. I finally find him dancing with a tall, slender blonde. I drag him outside. Oh, I say, old man, be reasonable. I brought you here. That's what you wanted. Yeah, but the man I'm looking for hasn't arrived. Let's have a look. Now? Now. About the festival. Never mind the festival. That stunning creature I was dancing with, the one with the yellow hair... I say, old boy, do you, do you think it's real? Come on. We start down the trail away from the lodge. It's night now, but a full moon is out, and it makes the going a lot easier. A half hour later, there's still no sign of Tassin and his party. Then we finally pull up at a lonely shepherd's hut. There's smoke coming out of the chimney. Oh, hello there. Hello. I'm looking for a Vincent Tassin. Is he with Tassin? You? Oh, yes, come on in. My name's Mitchell. This is Hargraves. I was expecting Tassin at the lodge. Oh, we had a little accident along the way. Kushevsky here twisted his ankle. Huh? Oh, it's not bad, but it slowed us down. Well, we found this hut and decided to put up for the night. Uh, I am Jenner, this is Kushevsky and Armandeus. Uh, where's Tassin? I uh, went out a little while ago. Looking for wood. He has been gone too long. Jenner, I told you something might have happened. To ah, him. what could happen to him? Relax, Armandeus. Kushevsky is right. What could happen to him? Which way did he go, Jenner? Uh, back. Down the path. Thanks. Come on, Hargraves. We go outside. It started snowing again. My hunch is right. Tassin is headed for the Swiss border. Hargraves and I split up. He takes one side of the peak and I take the other. There's no sign of Tassin. The snow stops, but it's pretty dark to see very far. Then after five minutes or so... Mitchell! Mitchell! It's Hargraves around on the other side. I work my way around to him as fast as I can. Over here, Mitchell! You find Tassin? I, I, I don't know. Huh? What do you mean? Look. Down there. Where? I don't see There's any... just enough light left to pick up that red jacket. There. At the foot of the cliff. Somebody sprawled in the snow. Looks like I'm just a little too late. And now, back to Dangerous Assignment and Steve Mitchell. We should be almost down to the spot, Mitchell. Yeah, getting darker by the moment. Wait, over there. 
Huh? Oh, yeah, I see it. Well, here we are. Oh, very dead. Yeah, well, see if he's got any papers here in his pockets, too. Oh, yeah. I'll light my lighter. Thanks. Vincent Tesson, all right. Hey, wait a minute. Hold, hold your lighter down near his head. Huh? Right, huh? That's it. Hmm. What is it? Well, Tesson apparently fell face down, but look, the back of his head. Oh, yeah. Uh, as if he'd been struck there with something hard. Maybe somebody dropped a rock on him, and that's what knocked him over the edge. Come on, let's climb back up and take a look, huh? Well, well I'll lead the way. See, we're just about directly over the spot on the trail that he fell from. Yes, I, I should think so. Wait a minute, look over there. Patch of bare dirt about a foot across. I say, that's where the killer must have taken the rock from. And dropped it down on Tassin. Well, what well, now, boy? Now I'm going to have a little chat with those three back at the hut. Excellent Hargraves. Uh, did you find Tassin? I certainly did, Jenner. At the bottom of the cliff. Dead. Why, oh, no. Dead? You're joking. Some joke. Oh, how did it happen? That's a good question, Armandarath. Hey, just a minute. What are you trying to say? I... Suppose we start with you boys saying something. Like where each of you was during the time Tassin was out of this hut. You don't mean you suspect one of us. I don't mean anything. I just want to find out where you were. Which of you is in charge of the party? Well, I suppose I am. I'm a she instructor down below, and uh, I was acting as guide. Okay, Jenner, so we start with you. Did you leave the hut while Tassin was gone? Well, as a matter of fact, I went out with him. Oh? Huh? But I returned with a load of wood and left him still gathering it. Uh, that was just before you two arrived. I see. Armand Dorith, how about you? Why, I... I went outside briefly. While well, Tassin and Jenner were gone? Oh, uh, yes. Why? Well, I wanted to see if we could get back down the trail the way we had come. See here, Mitchell, I resent these questions. I'll take it easy, old boy. Well, Koshevsky, what's your story? He did not leave the hut. You were here alone, then? Of course, I... Well? In other words, there's no one to prove your story. I am telling the truth. Well, this is just great. Jenner, you're the leader of the party. Are you the one who invited Tassin to come along? Why... Yes, when he found out we were going to make the climb to a spot near the border, he became very interested, and so I invited him. And what is wrong with that? Nothing. Maybe. I say, Mitchell, it'll start to snow again. I suggest we get back to the lodge before we're snowed in. Yeah. Our graves, you lead the way. I'll bring up the rear. And you three better get one thing straight. Any of you try anything on the way back, I'll be right behind you, just waiting. Okay, let's shove off. The snow keeps falling as we work our way back down the trail toward the lodge. I've got a killer on my hands. Is it Jenner, Armandarad, or Kuszewski? Of course, even if I find out, I still don't have the boy I'm really after, the gent Tassin is going to put the finger on. One behind the Algiers bombing. Stands to reason Tassin wouldn't accompany the climbing party if this man was in it. Therefore, one of the three must be a hired hand. All of which leaves me not much further along than ever. Then as we're about two-thirds of the way back to the lodge, a fight suddenly breaks out up in front. I run up. It's Jenner and Armand Dorrit. Uh, no, uh, no. I, I said, all I'm going to have your remarks. Let, let go of me. Watch out the edge of the trail. Let go of him, Jenny. No, I... Uh, I said, let go. Uh, I... Oh, thank you, Mitchell. I, I think he would have pushed me over. What's the trouble, Jenny? Uh, the remarks he was making under his breath. I got fed up. What remarks? I... 
Well, never mind. It's over. I, I'm sorry, Armandarth. Armandarth, what remarks? Yes, as Jenna said, it is. Find your own business. Look, let's not start another one. Get moving. <laughs> Seems to be. Well, you don't need me anymore, old boy. I think I'll see what happened to the... The uh... girl with the yellow hair? How did you guess? Uh, Just psychic. Okay, Hargraves, thanks for everything. I... What's the matter? See you later. What stopped me is the sight of somebody slipping out the side door. Armand Dari. I follow. Outside, the snow is swirling around thicker than ever. About 50 yards from the lodge, he looks back and spots me coming at him. He grabs up a rock and swings it at me. I sidestep, it grazes my head, and I lock his wrist. He let go of me. I... Mitchell. Who do you think it was? Oh, I, I did not know. I, I saw someone coming at me through the snow, and I thought I was in danger. Where were you heading just now? I thought I told you to stick around the lodge. I want to get out of here before the same thing happens to me that happened to Tassin. Why should it? Maybe know something about who killed Tassin? No. What started that fight between you and Jenner? Oh, something I said to him. I know that, but what was it? Come on, open up. Well, Tassin and I became friendly during the climb. I could see he was afraid. He told me somebody was after him. Tell you who it was? No. But when Jenner left the hut with Tassin and then you discovered Tassin's body, I... I thought Jenner might have been the killer. You hinted as much to him? Yes, and well, he jumped me, as you saw. Well, either he's guilty or a hothead. And speaking of hotheads, you can drop that rock now. What? Oh, oh I'm sorry. I did not realize that... Hey, wait a minute. Hold everything. What? You said you were sorry. Brother, I think you just solved the case. What are you talking about? That you... rock. Look down there on the ground. See if you can tell me where you picked it up from. Why, no. The snow is still falling, Mitchell. As we have talked, it has covered over the place on the ground where the rock lay. That's just the point. I... Hey, get down. What? Quick, behind this tree. I shot. Yeah, I spotted a glint of metal over there near those boulders. But who is it? My old friend, the killer. Stay here. I'm going after him. I start circling, using the trees for cover. The snow's coming down thicker than ever. Suddenly, I spot the outline of a figure ahead of me. He's got the same idea. He's circling, too. I reckon it won't be long before he sees me, but we keep on circling, and still he doesn't shoot. Maybe the snow is making it a bit difficult to spot me. I go on like a couple of cats for a while, and then suddenly I realize I'm right above him. I get ready to jump just as he flips up the gun. As he fires, I jump. I land close enough to knock him off balance, and while he's trying to get back and come at me, I let him have it. He's out to it. They're in the snow. I bend over and pick up his gun as Armand Dareth comes hurrying up. Mitchell! Mitchell! Right here, Armand Dareth. Do it, Wait. It is Hargraves. It sure is. I should have known that English accent was phony. But I thought the two of you arrived at the hut together. We did. Now I know why Hargraves was so easy to hire. He wanted to find Tassin, too, to kill him. I do not understand. You told us Tassin had gone out for wood. Hargraves and I split up looking for him. Apparently, Hargraves found him alive. Dropped a rock on Tassin that knocked him over the cliff and killed him. He is coming, too. Uh, uh, Come on, Hargraves. We've got a date at the nearest police headquarters. A little matter of bombing in Algiers. Mitchell, how did you... Tumble to you? 
Took me only until just a minute ago. It was snowing when we left the hut to look for Tassin, remember? It didn't stop until just before you yelled that you'd found the body. The, the rock. Yeah, there was bare ground under it. That meant it had only been picked up a few minutes before. It left the other three men in the hut. It had to be you. The bare ground. Yeah. That's what tripped you up, Hargraves. Maybe I should say that's what did you dirt. Dangerous Assignment, starring Lloyd Burrell as Steve Mitchell. This is a Grace Gibson radio production directed by Lawrence H. Cecil. Be with us again next week, same time, when Steve Mitchell will embark on another dangerous assignment. This is Cerebral Cinema. Movies of the Mind.